Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we'll be talking about how to send emails, um, automation emails in Node.js with specifically Node Mailer. Um, so Node Mailer is a package. Uh, you can find that in um, NPM. So as you can see, Node Mailer is actually uh, pretty popular with over a million downloads uh, each week. And then so uh, here they don't really tell you much about how you use node mailer so i'll walk you through how to use uh, node mailer today so some things you need before we start uh, coding is you need a email account to send emails to someone else and uh that's it well you also need to have node.js installed but you can install that but one thing i want to i want you to look at here is this thing if the email you're trying to use to send emails is Gmail, if you're using Gmail, then what that means is uh, it will either work or it won't work, right? Because uh, Gmail has um, a really good uh, bot validation system. So uh, if you're trying to send automation uh, automation emails, it might not it might get detect it might get detected in Gmail, and you won't be able to authenticate. Um, so if Gmail doesn't work for you, then don't use it. Uh, but if Gmail doesn't work, it's almost guaranteed that Outlook will. So that's what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use Outlook. So I have um, this new email that I just created. Uh, it's called Node Mailer, and then this is the email name. Uh, I had to get a unique email name, so that's what I did. And then I have this other email. This the re the receiver can be in Gmail. That's totally fine, but this is the receiver, and it's going to be a Gmail account, and we're going to be sending a an email into this uh, Gmail account. So let's get started. All right, first things first. Um, hopefully, you have some kind of um, structure that that's in your Node.js app already. Uh, I decided to use my first Node app from a couple of uh, a couple while ago. So I don't even know what I did here, but I have, but that, but you just need a Node.js um, app. So you have this app, and then uh, you can see this is an app JS from way before. Basically, um, I'm just gonna be creating another JavaScript file into this app because um, I already have the structure set up. Um, so first things first, of course, you have to install Node Mailer, right? So it's just npm install node mailer and then dash dash save so we'll wait for that to install okay so uh this message basically if you see this message that means you installed the correct node mailer if you don't see this message that means you either installed something wrong or something else happened but um you can see that this is installed right okay so of course, what we need to do is we need to um, require a node mailer, right? So a we'll require node mailer. Node mailer, okay. And then what's going to happen with node mailer is first you need a transporter, right? Transporter is basically where you have the sender um, information. Where it um, authentic, where it uses it to authenticate. So you need to make in um, transporter. I'll just say uh, const transporter. Or, sorry, order is equal to node mailer. Remember, it's referring to this node mailer. Node mailer dot create transport. Um, very intuitive right here. But you need to create an object inside. That is so. Today I'll be using. Um, Outlook, which is a Hotmail service, and right here you need to create your auth. Your auth is going to contain your user, right? Um, let's see what my great email name is. Node dash one two three one two three two one three two one. All right. So if I were you, I'd probably create a simpler name, but. Um, Two three two one at outlook.com. 
All right, so now you need the password, right? I'll just type it in here because this is a test account and I'm deleting it right after this video goes out. Well, I actually forgot something. So I'll put my password here. It's a very good password. If you ask me. So that's the password. And then um, that's it for the transport. Okay, so now we need to move on to our options. Um, so we're going to, now we have to specify what kind of, um, how we're going to send the email, right? Like what's the subject? Who is it to? Um, what's the text in it? And then who is it from? So some very um, intuitive stuff. So first we just need to, we'll call it um, options. And then let's say it's equal to another object, obviously. And then, so we need a from, obviously. So from is from this email. Okay. Two is going to be to this email, which is my other email. Postcoder 16790 at gmail.com. And then we need a subject. Call it sending email with node. node.js. Then I have a text. Okay, and then we'll say, oops, say, simple. All right. So that's going to be our option. Um, pretty basic option in my opinion, but you get the idea. And now we need to send the mail, right? Um, and we're going to use this transporter. The transporter has a function called send mail. And then what we pass in to send mail is our um, options. And then a function, uh, a callback function where an error and then some info, right? So obviously if there's an error, we'll print out the error. Um, console.log error. Um, I'll just return so then I don't have to put an else. So now if there isn't an error, then we'll just log info.response. Now this is very important. If you log info, it's going to give you some um, uh, long JSON, and you just want the response. So we'll put um, sent and the response. So that's basically it. So now let's run it. And then the first time, if you're using an Outlook account that is new, that means you have never sent any messages or received anything you will um, get an error. Um, now, you won't get an error here because I already uh, solved that issue, but I'll tell you what error you'll get. So you can see that it sent the email. So now let's talk about the error. The error you'll get is that it's not authenticating. So let's go back to our Outlook. You can see here, um, actually, I recently just uh, verified. So hello, Node Mailer. To continue sending messages, please sign in and validate your Outlook account. Um, this helps us stop automated programs from sending junk email. So uh, when you try to send an automated message, this is what it's going to um, it's gonna send you. So you'll fail your first authentication because you haven't verified your account. But after you verified your account, then you're good to go. So basically, um, follow its steps. Um, use the link, follow its steps. It'll ask for your phone number. Sorry, well, it'll ask you to send a text message to your phone number and then you'll use the code that is sent to you to um, to uh, verify the account. But we sent the email right here, right? And sometimes um, if you're sending to Gmail, it might go to spam depending on what your content is. Now, if your content is just this, it probably will get automated into spam for Gmail. But if your content's not like this, then uh, it probably won't. But hopefully it didn't get into Gmail. As you can see, um, Gmail didn't actually uh, put it into spam. But right here, here it is. We have our email from node 123123213213 at outlook.com. And that's the message we got right here. So um, if you want to see it again, uh, we just run it again. 
and we'll be getting another email pretty soon. Uh, oh, all right, there we go. The email sent. So that's the new one right here. And this is how you send emails with Node.js. If you want to see more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, I have tons more tutorials there. If you just want to learn some um, algorithms, then you can also check out my playlists. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Thanks.